so they have a hat rain and a dark eye let's evaluate the preview right zamazenta versus hat rain obviously bad but i do have a slow king to switch into zamazenta versus lando isn't that bad because i have ice fang dark eye it's good moth it's fine king gambit it's good and zama versus zama is not great i would say because besides i have switches for it ogre pawn versus dark cry i don't have much switches for dark cry aside from slow king but going into it turn one is kind of bad right hmm. at the same time they are using a ho so not sure they might just lead with lando as well that's my thought process anyways i have a switch in though I wouldn't want to attack with Ogre Pond, attack Hatrain with Ogre Pond either since they can nuzzle me. Hmm. I think I want to keep Zama as a switch in in front of Darkrai. I mean, Darkrai comes in. I think I'll go slow king to scout for wisp and then double into something. So let's just ogre pawn here. I have to I have to ignore these spectators unfortunately they are talking too much. A dark cry lead okay let's just go slow king to scout for wisp holy crap the nasty plot turn one that's crazy all right that is definitely crazy i'll just zama here yeah dark pulse comes out let's just click cc landris comes in unfortunately it is rocky helmet Zabdos definitely has a great matchup though. I could also Ice Fang just to chip this down to prevent King Gambit from taking a lot. Hmm. I mean, I could use it just to like, because they just get rocks up anyways, I feel like. Yeah, this does a lot. Okay, the U turn, perfect. No rocks and Lando is low. I use Zamacenta well, I think. Darkrai is still annoying for the team overall, to be fair. I have a Psy Shock Slowking, so I'm kind of chilling here. Just gonna Psy Shock. Yeah, not care about that. Psy Shock again. Hatreen comes out. Let's just Sludge Bomb. They Psy. Holy crap, is that Specs? How come Psy Shock does 48? That's crazy. Hmm. Ozzard Vest then. Uh, I don't. I'm not getting the other best set here. Zero, two fifty two, modest or something like that. Devi. That's uh yeah, okay, makes sense, makes sense. All right. Mm -hmm. I do I sack Zama or do I go Gambit? I think I can afford to go Gambit. Hmm. Well, to be fair, Zama isn't coming back on anything. That's true too. I could also go Zabdos, but I'll keep Zabdos healthy instead. King Gambit is good. I don't want to use King Gambit to be fair. King Gambit is good. Let's just go Zama. King Gambit does win me the game, potentially. Besides, if they do click Nuzzle here, uh, my Zama will still be faster, I think. Yeah. I'll be able to crunch them, though that wouldn't get me much, but still, it's something. Okay, this is Psy Shock. Let's bring Ogre Pawn in. And. Uh, Kajal seems free here.
They didn't. Yeah, Hatrin's gone. Good. I can now get rocks up, which is great. Nasty plot, Rai, huh? Mm, trying to beat this helps me against math. Huh. I think I would do it, to be honest. I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, they might not be sash either, so yeah, let's just do it. Oh, perfect. I mean, still, terrifying Ogre was just great. I have a Zabdos for this, so I'm kind of chilling here. That's Leftovers. Good to know. Zabdos seems free then. And Zabdos is act technically really good this game. Moth, okay. Uh... Spirit Dance would be bad. I think I'll just u turn. Yeah, that's fine. Do I speed tire? Do I go sloking and chilly out? Darkrai comes in again. I kind of don't like that. I think I'll just. I mean, I need health on Ogre Pond for Darkrai and Moth anyway, so I think I'll just attack. Yeah, that's fine. I still take any hit from Darkrai, and I have Zabdos for Zama, and Lando, and a Tusk for Gambit. This looks great. I have plenty of sacks too, and a priority, the best part. Just gotta make sure we don't lose to Gambit, and a Terra, that's about it. Let's get rocks up, very important. Crazy that the iron had me, I'll just head long, no need to predict. Oh, they gave me Gambit! Bro! <laughs> what? What? This is so Jover actually. I just go Ogre Pond and claim a kill, really. I don't need to save this. Let's just rapid spin in case they, yeah, don't. We go Ogre Pond. I can just cudgel. Would I want a Horn Leech in case they go Lando or something? There are four attacks, right? So even if Lando intimidates me I, and Darkrai comes back in again, I just attack. I just attack because King Gambit kills them after. And I have Zabdos slash Sloking for Zama. They still have a Terra though. Minus one Kajal would knock them out after Rock, most likely. Let's see what they do though. If they just sack Darkrai here, the game is over. If they go Lando, well, there are some things that could happen. I hope they just sack give me Darkrai. Like, give me Darkrai and the game is over. If Zama dies right now, they no, it actually doesn't die. Depends on their set, because if they're like the max attack variant, oh, let's find out. I crit them. <laughs> okay, that's something, I guess. Uh, hmm. Is this a problem? I cudgel here 
and Darkrai comes in. It might it might be bad because I have to do Sucker Punch 50-50s then. Yeah, I think I'll just go Zappy because Zappy can U-turn and all that. They U-turn too. Okay, Lando isn't coming and I can spam Discharges. That's the best part basically. Uh, plus 2 Dark Pulse versus Ogre Pawn. That's 72. It's a roll. Let's just Discharge. If I para them, it's over anyways. I didn't, okay. Dark Pulse. Now, Ogre Pawn will unfortunately die. So it came down to 50-50s anyways, I guess. Because I do kill here. Ice Beam, Dark Pulse, Focus Blast? I wonder. That sucker. Okay. Might not be Focus Blast, you never know. I think I'm switching it. GG. Yeah, I mean, switching on second turn always works anyways. I think they wouldn't. They weren't uh, Sword Stance anyways. Uh, not Sword Dance, Focus Blast, because you gotta have Sludge Bomb. You don't do anything to Sloking if you don't have Sludge... No, not Sloking, Fairy Types, basically, Primarina, or things like that, if you don't have Sludge Bomb. So, yeah. Besides, they had a Landorus and a Zamazenta, so I feel like they don't have any need to run Focus Blast. One play could have been that I go Sloking instead, because, yeah, they U-turn, I go Sloking, and I Toxic them. Because then I can just do Sucker Punch shenanigans and they won't be able to do that. Yeah. Yeah. True. And with that win, my team has officially qualified for playoffs. That's right. It does feel really good. You know, we had an intense run to be honest. Like, uh, first couple of weeks, we gained, we gained uh, like draws, a couple of losses, then we won. And then like week six was such a intense week where we had we were struggling but we managed to tie the week so we can have a chance for week seven and we won we won the week and we qualified it's uh, quite great and i think i've never talked about the this tournament in particular in any videos hpl it's it's short for hindi premier league basically it's hosted by the indian community uh, my team's name is Gujarat Goldengos, Gujarat being the uh, state in India. But yeah, it feels nice. We qualified. I will try to cover as many games as possible of playoffs, my teammates as well, mine as well. Whether we win or lose, I will try to cover that. And, you know, we'll try best to win, of course. And I'm also working on BDPL playoffs, videos, semifinals. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. It's, I know it's, I've been not uploading that much, it's just that, like, you know, been trying to so sort everything out, IRL and then tournaments, prepping for those, trying to get videos done, laddering and all that, so, it's been hectic, but I'm trying to make a schedule and follow it, and I'm trying to upload it as many videos as possible, so, next week probably is going to be a really good one, where I'll be able to get a lot more videos out so yeah stay tuned for that if you haven't watched my previous HPL videos or tournament videos you can check them out the playlist is on your screen I'll see you all next time goodbye